Sagittarius, welcome to your September monthly reading. This is a collective reading. It will, it will not resonate with all of you. And if it doesn't resonate with you, I encourage you to check your sun, moon and rising sign video on my channel as you may be sitting in that energy. Alternatively, you can also click the link in the description box below to my Instagram, Chelsea Drees, where I sell online personal readings all over the world through. Okay, Sagittarius, let's get into your energy for September. Sagittarius for September on the dice. Okay, Sagittarius, for the planetology, we have the planet of the moon. The moon is illusions, your instincts, your unconscious mind. And it is very much mother energy. The moon is a very powerful pulling energy that's very in tune with your feelings, your emotional reactions and your soul development. So you want to be in a strong energy of that at the moment, Sagittarius. The number, numerology number that we have for you, Sagittarius, is the number 11. So pay attention for anything to do with the number 11. The number 11 stands for you are a master manifester. You know exactly where you're going. You're in alignment at its finest. So pick your favorite things because you're going to get them. Pay attention for 11 a.m., 11 p.m. and everything to do with the number 11 because the universe will be using that to guide you. The star sign that's heavily around you at the moment, Sagittarius, is the star sign of Libra. So you may be dealing with a Libra around you or you may have a lot of Libra energy within your birth chart. But there is strong Libra energy around you at the moment, Sagittarius. Okay, straight into the card, Sagittarius, we have the Hierophant. The Hierophant energy is in reverse. So there is a very rebellious energy around you. There's new approaches to how you do things. There is a strong um, new way, very cheeky way. This could be you being cheeky or someone could be being very sneaky and cheeky and rebellious towards you. So beware. There is also here with the Queen of Cups, you're going to start seeing any weird behavior very, very, um, sorry, the Queen of Swords, very clearly. You have a new perspective on this. Your mind is open. You can see exactly what anyone is. It is not a good time to try and fool you. And anyone using a rebellious approach will just be seen clearly. Be careful. There could be a woman that's being very rebellious towards you who's trying to come across as a truth teller. But she seems to be a liar. In the middle of September, Sagittarius, we have the energy of the Magician, which is once again backed by your 11 over here on the dice. You are the master manifester. You are in strong manifesting energy. You need to set out some goals. You need to have willpower. You need to desire to create something. You need it to come into fruition fast. And it is, you, everyone's starting to look at you as a victory. You're riding in like shiny, you can do everything. You are showing up really um, impulsive. You are defending your beliefs. You're taking action. And anyone that said that you couldn't do it is going to be like, what the fuck? Sagittarius did it. You can say Sagittarius can't do it, but Sagittarius will prove you wrong and they will do it. And they did. They do. In the end of September for you, Sagittarius, once again, you have the Queen of Swords. You have her twice here, which is your mind is so clear. You know exactly. No one can fool you this month. No one can fool you, whatever. Your mind is so clear with the Page of Wands in reverse. Um, it's like... It's like... Someone's trying to be angry because they have lack of, they don't have as much direction as you and they're trying to create conflict because they can see that you can achieve so much all alone and because you're in manifesting energy, they're like, why is everything working out for Sagittarius? And you're like, it's because I'm truthful and it's because I'm honest and it's because I have integrity and you don't. And that's the difference between you and this person who's so jealous of you. It's because you are living in your truth, you're living in your power, you're being pure and you're standing on what you truly believe in and it's showing up and you're more powerful. We also have the Queen of Wands here as well, which is showing us that you have a lot of courage and determination. This is in your hidden energy. 
to do with you're going to get the most happiest outcome. You're going towards having the perfect home, the perfect love, the perfect life. And everyone's a bit jealous because they're watching you literally create it in front of their lives. You're creating a harmony. You're creating a home. You're creating a new life. You are really building very strong feminine energy. You also have a soulmate appearing around you who is also impressed by this behavior. The advice for you, Sagittarius, is to stop obsessing. You are not the fucking center of the universe. Drop the fucking ego. Vulnerability is hot as fuck. You got a feeling you just can't shake. That little voice inside you, listen to that shit. It's not everyone else's fault, it's yours. Stop blaming others. You are a grown-ass adult. Detox. You need to drink a smoothie, unfriend that asshole, or throw some clothes out. Throw some stuff out of your house that has bad energy on it. It's clogging you up. Okay. What's somebody thinking about Sagittarius through the month of September? This could be a friend, a family member, or a lover. But what they're thinking about you is... I'm starting to understand our connection. I replay our conversations over and over. I left before you could leave me. I left when I saw you with someone. I look for you everywhere. I'm starting to understand our connection. I replay our conversations over and over. I left you before you could leave me. I left when I saw you with someone. I look for you everywhere. And then on the end here, Sagittarius, we have your love and romance energy. And what's coming through for your love and romance energy is retreat. It's time for you to disconnect from the world. Separation, time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Okay, Sagittarius, please like and subscribe as it really helps my channel. If you did want to book a personal reading with me, you can buy the link in the description box below to my Instagram, Chelsea Therese. Sending you all love and light. And I shall see you all next month for another monthly reading.